This Kelloland Living segment is sponsored by the Sioux Empire Sportsman Show, March 10th through the 13th at the Sioux Falls Arena and Convention Center. How does a shiny new boat sound for summer? Maybe you're already planning a fun family getaway at a great camp up north. Or is one of those professional fishermen holding the secret that stands between you and that 24-inch brown trout? If we haven't gotten your interest yet, I have no doubt that something at this weekend's Sioux Empire Sportsman Show will hook you for a weekend on the wild side. Today's guest is Bruce Bellinger, who is wearing two hats this morning. He's going to tell us all about this weekend's Sportsman Show and he's going to explain why he is going to be spending the weekend wielding an axe and chainsaw. This year's Sioux Empire Sportsman Show features more than 200 vendors, seminars with fishing pros, a live trout pond, a kids fishing workshop, boats, campers and trailers, and that's just to name a few of the things that will be going on this weekend at the Sioux Falls Arena and Convention Center. Tell us more, Bruce. This sounds like an exciting weekend. Well, we should start out with Barnyard Buddies. That's a, it's a petting zoo that uh, I first met a few weeks ago in St. Cloud at their sportsman show. And um, they have all sorts of cool little animals that you can see and get close to and actually feed. And uh, that's one of the entertainment deals. And then, of course, you talked about wielding an axe. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you got to make it exciting. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, is it dangerous? Well... <laughs> Well, I guess it is if, if you're not careful, but we're pretty careful about it. Uh, we throw axe and do a little chainsaw carving, uh, cross-cut sawing, a little audience participation. Uh, we have a modified power saw that makes a lot of noise and goes through the wood in a hurry. Uh, we also have some old souvenir or some uh, old uh, antique logging tools that we, we uh, explain how they were used back in the 1800s. Not to mention all the beautiful boats, uh, the seminars. They have Corey Springle and uh, they have Joe Henry that are professional fishermen that give free seminars to people who want to learn a little bit more about whole oh, electronics or fishing techniques and how to get the big one. We're looking at some video right now on the screen of past sportsman shows. Yes. And has this grown a lot? This is the biggest sportsman show that comes here. You know what? I've been with uh, Seneco Productions for probably 40 some years. And so I was here a long time ago when they were first started. And this, this show partic in particular has grown immensely. It's huge. It's huge, and it's one I always look forward to coming to, so I'm glad to be back. And it sounds like it's a one-stop shop. It is. You can come in here, and you can buy fish and bait. You can buy beautiful boats, uh, pontoons. You can uh, order up a vacation for fishing in Canada or the United States, wherever. Um, there's all sorts of things here, fishing equipment, uh, electronics, uh, fishing rods and reels. You name it, they have it. And why is this nice to not only have a one-stop shop with all these different things going on, but also be able to talk to the different vendors personally to get their advice? Well, because you learn from talking to people who have done it a little bit more than you. It might be a little bit more successful, and it's a, it's a great opportunity to learn how to, how to fish, how to, how to present uh, lures in, in certain types of fishing situations, like what the seminar speakers will tell you and uh, how, different temp how one or two degrees uh, difference in temperature of water can make a big difference in what the bite's going to be, or fishing before a storm, or, uh, and also safety on the water. So to talk to these people is just an opportunity to learn some more and enhance your, your own uh, information and knowledge. Let's talk a little bit more about the seminars, the pointers from the pros. Oh, you mentioned gosh. a few names already, but let's just talk a little bit more about who people can hear from if they head out. Well, they're going to hear from Corey Springle, who has won many, many tournaments. And uh, he, oh my gosh, Corey Springle and Joe Henry, I've, I listened to both of them uh, a few weeks ago, and uh, they're full of information. They're not scared to share information. I don't know if they'll give you all their secrets, but they will give you a lot of them. <laughs> we want them all. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they do, they do a great job. And then, of course, they have uh, uh, the kids' workshop. It's going to be with uh, Shields Pros. And... Uh, then they're going to have, um, of course, the trout fishing pond is always an exciting place for the kids to go to. And um, so, yeah, they're going to, you just got to sit down for about 45 minutes and listen to these guys. And then they give you an opportunity to ask questions afterwards. So if there's something you want to know in particular, they'll, they'll address that too. When it comes to this as well and getting to talk to the pros, I mean, you don't get to come in contact with pros like that on very often and ask those types of questions. So from all the years that you've been able to attend this, what have you learned and valued most? 
I learned that there's a lot of little things that, uh, here's an example. If you're fishing in a river where you have a nice current and you get, you get off to the eddy where it's quiet water, where that quiet water meets that current, that's going to be where the fish are waiting for bait to come down by them. So when you're fishing in a river, toss into the dry or to, into the quiet water and then pull, pull it slowly, pull your bait or your jig head with the bait on it into that area, that transition zone. And the same goes through to, to, to depth of water. You might go from shallow down to a little uh, incline where you go from maybe five or six feet of water down to eight or ten feet. If you hang on that edge, there's a lot of fish will sit right there. So I've just, I can't remember everything that I've learned, but I can <laughs> tell you that I've learned a lot from these guys. So, and, and it really does help you out. And this is for everyone, and sometimes females can be a little intimidated by something like this, but for women who are interested in getting more into outdoor sports, learning more about fishing, why is this the perfect place to get some more of that information? Well, it's great, and there's a lot of ladies that are involved in these outdoor sports, which is great, because we need them for hunting and fishing, and uh, it's a great opportunity. To, it's so exciting. If you, if you have that hunter instinct in you or that fishing instinct in you, it's really an exciting event to, to actually be successful. And, Maybe whether you uh, harvest a deer or you catch a big fish or a, a big trout, like you said earlier, that it's just like, oh, I've accomplished something. This is really exciting, you know. So, yeah, the ladies, there's a lot of ladies that can outfish me and out hunt me. So, guys, they, they may not admit it, but they're out there. <laughs> and when it comes to different equipment that you're using for this, I'm sure a lot of people that are in attendance have everything they need, but there's always new things, better things coming out. So is there anything new or particular that you're thinking people should make sure they take a look at? Not, not so much in the, in the actual product itself. There are, there are new, a lot of new items coming out, but when it, when it comes to how you maneuver a, a, a particular bait, like give it a little bit of a jolt, uh, uh, or if, if you can make a bait uh, appear to be like a, an injured uh, bait or something that a predator would go after, if you can... If you can uh, Simulate that in the water, that, that enhances your chances too. So it's how you use things, and, and there's a lot like jig heads and crankbaits and things like that have been around for a long time. But it, it's how you use them and where you use them and, and how you pay attention to the uh, situation that you're in, like the water temperature, the wind, uh, if you're on a rocky point, if you're on, uh, on a deep area versus a shallow transition zone. There's all sorts of things that you got to pay. It's kind of a lot of things to remember, but you will come away from this sports show um, with with a lot of information. I think I'm already learning a lot of information from you. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you? Do you like to fish? I love to fish. Oh my we goodness. are at a time though. I'll have to show you some pictures after this. So all thank right. you so much for coming in and thank sharing you, Brittany, more about having... the show that's coming up. Thank you very much. There are just a couple of hours left before the 2022 Sioux Empire Sportsman Show opens its doors to a weekend of fun. The show runs from 5 to 9 tonight and begins at noon on Friday until 9 p.m. Saturday hours are 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. And Sunday the show is open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can get your tickets now on the website SiouxFallsSportsShow.com. Please note that there is only one S between sports and show. Tickets are $10 for adults and $2.50 for kids ages 6 to 12. Kids 5 and under are free. And don't forget to print that $1 off coupon and show it at the door. This Kelloway and Living segment has been sponsored by the Sioux Empire Sportsman Show, March 10th through the 13th at the Sioux Falls Arena and Convention Center.